When I came here and they told me these are the best pieces of land, I thought, sure, but it's true, it's perfection. To make a great wine, it's not only a great terroir, a great chateau, but then it's the human factor, you know, you need love. It's more than a manufactured or agricultural product, it's something closer to a miracle. Resilience of Bordeaux is quite amazing when you realize that this place has been able to survive revolutions, wars. Things can change in both directions. What we must protect is the wine. Right now, I think everyone has the wine fever. You have seen demand massively exceed supply. Today, China's probably got around 600 US dollar billionaires. That's more than the US. America used to be the biggest market in the world for these wines, and it's not anymore. The prices are just too high. No matter what, this is what I want. I want to bring it home. The auction year was going like 300,000, 500,000. Then suddenly, I just raised my pedal. I said 1.5 million. <laughs> if they've lived through the Cultural Revolution, this means they've gone to hell and come back. If a dozen mainland Chinese decided to buy everything in the marketplace, very soon it only takes a few people to corner the entire market. We know that there are fake wines on the market. You can find today in China more bottles of Lafitte 1982 than they were produced in 1982 in Chateau-Lafitte. Bordeaux is all about trade. It's all about politics. What makes its heart beat is I want to be richer than I am, I want to be more powerful than I am, and I know how to do it. Just the latest sign of the global power shift. Chinese investors, yes, yeah, scooping up estates and vineyards across Bordeaux. We haven't seen anything yet. We haven't even scratched the surface. 我到三十年到五十年的时候，全世界种的葡萄供给中国消费大概都满足不了。